How's it going everybody? Playing some more City Folk today. And hopefully there will be a slingshot in the store. Because it's been a while and I could really use one. But other than that, I'm not really looking forward to anything in store. I'm always looking forward to City Folk though. Um, I'm hoping to have some hybrids today. Hoping to find the money rock pretty fast. But if not, oh well. Um, okay, so there's no hybrid here. Um, they look different though. I don't think... One of these is new, I think. Maybe. I can't remember how I planted them yesterday. Whenever I planted them. But if I can get a, another orange rose or any other sort of hybrid, like a tulip, I would be happy. And I'm just now realizing that I'm hitting the money rack. So, that part's good. And that's an easy, what is it, uh, 8,000 or so? Not bad. Maybe 7,000. I'm not sure the exact math, but it's up there. Peacock? Uh... I don't know how he expects me to find one. I don't I don't think peacocks are in Wisconsin that I know of, but maybe they are. I don't know. Unless he's talking about, like, me kidnapping a peacock, which... I mean, all animals are friendly in Animal Crossing for the most part. Well, in City Folk, at least. I guess he wants me to kidnap Pave? Or however you say her name? But that doesn't seem very nice, so. We'll just take a rain check on that one. A few times. You know, that's 100% true. You should always feel at home when you're a friend's house. Maybe not a stranger's, but a friend's house. I was just playing Wild World earlier, and I gotta say, I really appreciate that they toned down the rudeness from the villagers, because in real life, you wouldn't want somebody talking to you like that. And I don't know why you'd want someone talking to you so rudely like they do in Wild World, but I don't know. I guess it's just people's preference. And Bob is still leaving, so... Sayonara to him. I did the best I could, but he just couldn't handle my wee freezing. So... Hmm. I wonder if I can steal his stuff, though. That's Gala's house. I don't know. I'll have to look into... Seeing if I can hire someone to rob him or break into his house. Wow, that is. That is, uh. Okay. I know I was just saying some of the animals aren't rude, but. Whew! Throwing some shade at Gabby. It's not very nice. Kind of a weird house, but whatever the pig likes, she likes, I suppose. And Bob is still stalking her, so I'm glad he's leaving. Uh -huh. I need to move this tulip. Okay. And then at some point today, I need to mail out a bunch of letters because I have a dire need for fruit. Because these oranges, they ain't cutting it. 100 bells or whatever they sell for, it's not worth it. So I'm not shaking any of these orange trees anymore. Why does he want me to kidnap a peacock? I don't, I don't understand it, but... 
I mean, you could go fishing with your bare hands, I suppose. Just gotta be quick. Reach in, take a big old handful of fish. I mean, you didn't say you couldn't use a net, so maybe that's what I'll do. Just pull out a big old net, and then uh, stick my hand down there and hope for the best. My goodness, do I have to do a little bit of arranging. Got all these random flowers all over, but some of them can wait. Not sure who this is. Is it a dog? Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, I guess he's saying I'm tough with that comment. Although his house, he has a dog, and he has a dog. That's a little weird. Okay. And he's got a duck. And one thing I do wonder about my villagers is where do they all sleep? I mean, this thing is not comfortable to sleep on all night. And what was that pig's name? Was that Gala? She has that little couch. I'm a little concerned about my animal's well-being, but... You know, if they're fine with it, then I guess I'm fine with it. I think that's an orange pansy. Sweet. Second hybrid of the game, and hopefully I won't lose this one. Assuming my Wii does not freeze anymore, which... I hope it won't, because it didn't freeze yesterday, so... Hopefully... Things will go well. I gotta get my thumbnail there. Okay, um... I wonder how hybrids work in this game, like, what's the percentage or the chance that you can get one? Because you can't have other players water them like you can in New Horizons. And in New Leaf, I'm assuming it's the same way, like is this game. I don't know. Very... Very interesting. Let's see, is this gonna be a pitfall or a gyroid? I kept thinking it rained yesterday, but it only rained in real life. And apparently, we're supposed to get a lot of storms, so hopefully it passes us and there's no storms, because I don't like sleeping and then waking up at 12 a.m. That's midnight, right? 12 a.m.? I think so. I don't like waking up then at midnight to thunder and then struggling to get back to sleep, which was the case last night. But, you know, I still got my sleep, so I'm happy. I also gotta remember how I get the silver watering can, because watering these one by one gets a little boring. Especially if I'm gonna have my island looking anything like that New Leaf, or New Horizons and New Leaf one. I think I've shown videos for both of them, but the islands are just jam packed with flowers, and I don't know. I just, I prefer them over paths. I know people always comment that you have too many flowers, like, no, you have too many paths. Flowers are the dominant species over paths. I mean, you don't see wild paths growing anywhere, but you do see wild flowers. So I think it's white and red for a pink rose, red and yellow for orange. As for blue, um, I don't remember how you do blue roses. I want to say it's red and red, but... Is that just New Horizons that you need the special type? Of red flower? I don't... I don't know. I'm puzzled. And e e no. Sable should be friendlier with me, I think. Yep. Very nice. I'm glad she appreciates me now. 
And I remember watching a video pretty long ago about a guy who uploaded all the city folk, like just random little events that happened. And apparently there's some interesting dialogue you get between Mabel, Sable, and Label, if that's Label. Is it Label in this game? I think it's Label. But they have some interesting dialogue on growing up and whatnot, but I'm not sure how you activate that because on my other Wii, I was never never able to get that dialogue, so I don't know how that works. But I'm sure if I do a little bit of digging, I can figure it out. And if not, I'll just make some lore up. Still not a sunshine, darn it. I was playing Wild World earlier, and I got myself a slingshot. So, oh, I also got myself an axe, but honestly, I might just take a shovel today. Because I did look it up, and that is how you get the gold shovel, as I talked about yesterday. You actually have to bury a regular shovel, and then I think it's, you wait two days, and then you unbury it, and then it should be a gold shovel. And then Silver Shovel, that's from the Reset, um, what's it called? The Reset Center? I don't know, but I have to go to Vladimir's house, and this is very unfortunate because I do not like him, but if he'll give me some old carpeting. Yeah, I still don't like him now. Okay. I was giving him a chance, but. I'm going to do everything in my power to make him leave. Him and Jambit, they're both leaving because they're both trash. And I hope he steps in that water and gets his paws all muddy. Um, what else do I have to do? Um, I want to head to the city just to get another reaction. Um, got to do my fossils yet. Other than that, though, I don't think I have anything else to do in the town area. But I really do gotta get a lead going on on all those fruits and whatnot because I ain't selling all these fruits, the oranges. No way. Too cheap. But even if I started planting them, this week, it would still be quite a while before I could even make a decent profit off of them. Considering you only get three fruits at a time, I'm gonna bury all the fruits as soon as I get them for quite a while, so... I don't know. We'll just have to see how things go. If I can make some good old bells, or... I don't know where I was going with that. Anyways... Let's see if I can get some more old carpeting. Yes, old carpets. Okay. So far, my villagers are proving to be very useless. Which saddens me greatly, because well, I can't count on anyone for help. But perhaps... Whose house is this? Perhaps... Uh, Yuka can help. Wow, okay. Now even my favorite villager is bullying me. I see how it is. I'm gonna boycott my town at this point. Because none of my villagers are nice to me in this game or Wild World. They're just all so mean. They don't offer me anything. I send them letters. And they don't send me any fruits back? I mean, what's the deal? What more do they need? Water this bad boy. There we go. Hopefully I can get a head start on the hybrids because I honestly care about that more than I do actually paying off my house, which might not be the smartest idea, but, well, I mean, it's not a bad idea, but might not be the most useful idea, but I'm still going to do it. 
because those hybrids are everything. How is there nobody that has old carpeting? Like how? Did they just... Are they taking a realistic take on the carpeting? You throw it out as soon as you're done with it? Goodness gracious, come on. Okay, I hate my villagers. I don't like them today. They're being very useless. So if, say, someone raided my island, I wouldn't care if they took my villagers away. They can have them all. They're not helpful. But... Wow, okay. I was having some faith in Gabby, but apparently what Gallo said about her is right. There's nothing likable about her. I don't even like fishing, but they're making me so angry. I'm just kidding. I'm not actually angry, but still. Gotta put on the act for them. Christian carp. Uh, I think I might have already caught one of these. We'll find out. Okay. Is that everything I needed to do? Um, trying to think. I think so. Talk to Jambit. Jambat. However you say her name. Please, have something for me. Okay, okay, okay. From now on, if my villagers ever ask me for anything, I'm not giving it to them. They don't deserve anything. Besides my hatred. But that's another story. I'm just gonna be flying solo. From this point on, in City Folk, I'm standing by the humans, and nobody else. The animals can fight for themselves. Okay, fine. I'll my stuff. Hopefully I can get at least one duplicate, and mayhaps it'll be something worth money. Oh, one duplicate. How about two? I mean, I could just sell my fossils once I have them assessed, but then I'm missing out because I might not get them again in the ground for a long time and might never be able to donate them. So, he can have anything that's new. Okay. Now let's see. I think I've donated the carp before, but just to be sure. The crucian carp. Well, let's take a look. Okay. Alright, so. I guess I'll just get myself some coffee and then head on into the town. You should start taking the gyroids pretty soon, I would think. But I don't I don't remember what the time frame is, like how often you have to talk to them. That's one of the kind of cooler things about these older Animal Crossing games, is that you actually build some sort of friendship with some of the special NPCs. Or is Brewster a special? I think he is. Yeah, legendary Brewster. Okay, so he's not special, he's legendary. Legendary Brewster. I wonder what's behind that door. Perhaps another door. Alright, so now I'm gonna head off to the city and probably end the video there. But like I said, I need to probably mail to all my villagers at this point. Like, oh, 
a fruit in every letter because this is getting a bit ridiculous. No fruits, even though I've sent like, a bunch of letters almost every day. I know some of the videos I sent them off screen, but still. They need to they need to be more respectful and be giving to me. Sounds like it's very windy outside in real life. Probably getting a hundred mile per hour wind chill. Oh, and wind speed. Uh, I think I'll take this. Friends? I can't remember. I think I have that in Wild World. I don't think I have it in this game yet. I'll buy all the paper I need. So I guess you could just farm points from all these papers, but that's only one point at a time, so that would probably get very boring, I would imagine. And I do know how to use a shovel. Goodness gracious. That's a lot of points I need. I'm gonna have to start stepping up my buying game. Buying everything in the store, excuse me. Huh. Okay, now let me bury this shovel somewhere that I'm gonna remember to shovel. Uh, right there, yeah. Okay. And then I'll head off to the city, and I don't know, I think I might need to knock on Red's door again, because I don't think it counted that first time that I did. Maybe that's why none of my villagers have mentioned him to me. But it's interesting, even once you get invited to Red's, none of your villagers are ever in there, so it's kind of a little suspicious. Like. Does he only allow one per person in at a time? I don't know. Paying for everything? Ah, uh, no. No, absolutely not. No. I would do Dutch or nothing. I don't, I don't think that's cheap, though. Splitting the bill, that's not cheap. But whatever floats his boat. Apologize about my fan kicking in. This laptop doesn't like me very much. And I think that's Wendell, right? Because he's the badge guy in New Leaf. He should have something fun for me. My goodness, there's a lot of cats. Oh, it's Phineas. Who am I? Who's Wendell? Is he the dream guy? The, in this game, he's the um, custom pattern guy, I think. Well, he's in New Leaf too, isn't he? Because he appears in the dream world. I don't know. I get these names confused. But I need to get that thumbnail in a second. Okay, so hopefully now one of my villagers will mail me an invitation. But first, I gotta get that crisp thumbnail. Okay, I could probably use something there, but. Um, I think I might just end off the voiceover here. So let me buy a ticket. Uh, delight sounds good. But I want to thank you guys all for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow, maybe.
Hmm. 